Great. So I'm sharing the presentation with you before we begin our class. The course content has been divided into five sections. The first one is the Hebrew Bible, uh, which introduces us to the Hebrew Bible of the Old Testament. And the second module, we will be uh, talking about the Old Testament, uh, the, uh, the Pentateuch or the law. That is the five books of the Bible, which is also called as the Pentateuch. Pentateuch. And the third uh, module is uh, takes us through the history of Israel from Joshua to Esther. And we call this as the history books. And the fourth is the wisdom books or the poetry, uh, which gives the survey of the wisdom literature, starting with the book of Job until the Song of Solomon. And the fifth and sixth are the major and the minor prophets, uh, where we will be uh, doing a survey from the book of Isaiah till Malachi. That is the last book of the Old Testament. Uh, Mr. Isaac, would you like to share something? Yes, thank you. So we will be doing a survey, not by verse to verse study. Uh, it would be uh, we would be uh, going through the key verses and events and themes to see the bigger picture of the scripture at the major moments, uh, which is in each of these 39 books of the Old Testament. And um, the Old Testament will have uh, we will be doing an overview with cover background or the introduction of the author introduction of the author, the date of writing, the very purpose of uh, of writing of this book and the theme and outline extra we would be studying, including uh, the shadow of Christ in these books. Uh, Mr. Isaac, uh, can you please mute your mic? I understand there's a problem with your microphone, but if you could mute or if you want to share something, you can uh, type it on the chat. Thank you. OK. We will, uh, we will be using the following text book, the, which, uh, the PDF version, which has been shared with you all. And we would be navigating from uh, each book to book. And we will encourage you all to keep your personal Bible and the book throughout the course so that you can study and note down uh, the important points. Uh, there would be two assessment in this course. Uh, one would be at the end of September, we call it as midterm. And uh, the other would be at the end of November, that is uh, during the end of the course, as you complete the course, the last week of November. And uh, it will be graded. Uh, there would be a grade, at least we need to get more than 35 percent is what is expected but we need to get more than that uh, so that you know we can clear this course or pass so do you all have any questions as we go through it do you all have any questions no ma'am thank you as diana uh, i was just looking uh, whether the course material has been shared in the google classroom Yes, Divya, it's on the Google stream. You can go and download it from there. OK, 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 thank you. OK, yes. OK, there's a text message. The assessment format. OK, the assessment format can be uh, the presentation. 
on the books that we cover till then. For example, if we are giving an assessment in the month of September, so from August till September, which are the books that we are covered, we would like to maybe you all can present on each book. OK, we would be assigning each person uh, the particular book that you could research and present it to the class. And depending on your uh, research and the presentation, you will be assessed and graded on that. And the same we will do at the end of November. Good question. The next is, do we need to take print out of the books? Um, see what is comfortable to you, Jeffina. If you feel a hard copy is better, you can take a print out. Or if you're able to manage with the soft copy, you can go ahead with the PDF version on your laptop. Mm, yes, any, any other questions before we could begin? with the introduction of the Old Testament. Any questions? OK. OK, do we need to have any kind of reference books or any support material? Yes, it would be good when we give you the assignments on research and uh, you, when we ask you to present the assignment, um, you can use any other reference book um, or you can research directly on the internet. And more we research, more we read, it is better we increase our knowledge in that particular OK, uh, we'll be getting the hard copy of the book. Um, the, if we had uh, in-person classes, yes, we would have given you all a hard copy of the book. But because we are online, uh, as much as possible, we are trying to avoid any kind of contact. So maybe you can take a printout of the book, Titus. Um, Rebecca, uh, from today, you can listen to the class and study through. Um, we will give you the assignment maybe two weeks ahead. We will give you two weeks ahead uh, what, on which book you need to prepare your assignment on so that you will have at least uh, you know, two weeks to prepare for your assignment or prepare before you could present that particular book. For now, you can go through the class, so you will have an idea like how you need to prepare and how you need to present it. OK, if there are no questions, we can go ahead with our class. OK, the introduction to the Old Testament survey is, uh, the Bible is the inspired word of God written by 40 different authors over the course of 1,500 years. The Hebrew Bible of the Old Testament was written by several authors, uh, ranging roughly from 15 to 50th century BC in the Hebrew language, with small segments written in Aramaic. Most of the original were written on uh, the papyrus, which lasts longer than today's paper, but nevertheless, decays. Uh, finding a document older than the thousand years is a rare event. It must be um, been preserved in a very special way. That's what we see. And uh, we also don't have any originals at this point. Um, what we have is only the copies which has been preserved. Knowing this, we may be wondering whether the document we have are really the same as the original text. We will go through uh, the rest of the class. So I'm just reading a portion uh, of what has been uh, written in the history, like how they retained and how did they find these uh, scrolls. After the destruction of the Jerusalem and the exile of the Jews in uh, 587 or 6 BC, not even a single earlier manuscripts were survived. The Samaritan Pentateuch from the 11th century AD was thought to be the earliest surviving form of the Hebrew text. However, it differs from the Orthodox Jewish text in some 6,000 places. The, discover, the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls provided the manuscripts dated with 150 BC to AD 75. 
and became the text witness to the Hebrew text. We find uh, a fragment of every book of this Old Testament except the Esther in these scrolls. And all these agree with the received text of the Old Testament, except for the orthographic variations or occasional variant reading, hardly affecting the sense of the text. And here we have to study on the Hebrew Bible. Hebrew Bible is also known as the Hebrew Scripture. One second, let me share on that. Hebrew Bible, also called as the Hebrew Scriptures, which is from the, uh, it is the Old Testament or Tanakh collection of writings that was first compiled and preserved as the sacred books of the Jewish people. And it also constitutes a large portion of a Christian Bible. The Hebrew canon contains 24 books, one for each of the scrolls on which these works were written in the ancient times. The Hebrew Bible is organized into the three main sections. The first is the Torah or teaching, also called as the Pentateuch or the first five books of Moses. The second is called the Nevim or prophets, the book of prophets. The, the, uh, the major and the minor prophets are covered in this. And the third is Ketuvim or the writings, the historic writings from the Bible. It is often referred to as the Tanakh, a word combining the first letter from the uh, from the names of each of these three main division, like uh, Tanakh, uh, Tanakh is uh, named as T-A-N-A-K-H, from Torah, from and uh, the next is Na from Nevim, and Ketuvim is Ka. So this is how they have named the book as and each of these three main groups of texts is further subdivided. The Torah contains the narratives combined with rules and instructions in the first five books, that the Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And the books in Nevim are categorized among either the former prophets, which contains the antidote about major Hebrew persons, and it includes Joshua, Samuel, the first and second Samuel, and the first and second kings, or the la later prophets, which exhort Israel to return to God and are named, because they are either attributed or contain stories about them. For Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and together in one book known as the Book of the Twelve, the Twelve Minor Prophets from Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and it goes up till Malachi, which is the last book of the Old Testament. The last of the three division, the Ketuvim, contains the poetry, that is the devotional and the erotic theology. It has the drama in uh, Book of Job and Psalms, Proverbs, Song of Songs, attributes to the King Solomon. And then we have Ruth, Lamentation, Ecclesiastes, Esther, Daniel, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Chronicles come under this particular section, Ketavim. So many Christians refer to the Hebrew Bible as the Old Testament, the prophecy foretelling the advent of Jesus Christ as God-appointed Messiah. So the compiling of the books, now we may have a question, how did all these books in the Old Testament were compiled? 
So we are done with this. I just put this three so that we get clear uh, of these three sections in the Hebrew Bible. Okay, so we may have questioned like how did uh, how did uh, they put across all these books together? Eventually, Christian church leaders across the world wide gathered to answer major questions, including which book should be regarded as scripture. And these gatherings included the Council of Nicaea in a Nicaea in AD 325 and the first council of the Constantinople in 381 AD, which decided a book should be included in the Bible. It was uh, so uh, the first is uh, which was written, they, they considered uh, over the three points. First, was it written by uh, Jesus disciples or someone who was a witness to Jesus ministry, such as like Peter or someone who interviewed uh, a, a eyewitness such as Luke or so. The second point they considered it as it should be in the first century AD, uh, meaning the book written long after the events of Jesus life and the first decade of the church weren't included. The third point they considered was consistent with the other portion of the Bible known to be validated, meaning the book could not contradict a trusted element of scripture. So by this time, the first century AD ended and most of the church had agreed on which book should be considered as scriptures. So the uh, uh, they formed the canon, uh, the earliest church members took guidance from the writing of Peter, Paul, Matthew, John, the uh, the, uh, the direct uh, disciples who had witnessed Jesus together. So they had uh, considered these books. Then later the council and there were a lot of debates and agreements were largely used in weeding out the inferior books that claimed the same authority and settled with which books should be included in the Bible and not. And a few years later, Jerome published a single uh, published a single volume in Latin language, and this edition of the Bible is commonly referred to as the Vulgate Bible. Note: Jerome wasn't the first to select all sixty-six books that we know today as Bible, but he was the first to translate and compile everything in a single volume. Now, the important point here is the name Old Testament. How did we get it? The name Old Testament was devised by a Christian, Melito of Sardis, about in 170 BC AD, uh, to distinguish this part of the Bible from the writings that were eventually recognized as the New Testament, the Gospel of Jesus Christ, when presenting the history of the early. Christian church. So uh, we also see that a different denomination have different books in the Bible. So the different religious groups which uh, uh, which were a part of the canon, they had a lot of debate and agreement which needs to be considered and which should not. So each one considered certain books and included in their Bible like, uh, you know, um, uh, in in varying order. So the Jewish Tanakh, which is also called as the Hebrew Bible, they have 24 books as the Old Testament. Um, yeah, 24 books. And the Christian Bible ranges from 73 books of the Catholic Church canon and 66 uh, books of the canon of uh, some denomination or it's been generally have uh, Old Testament Bible as 66 books. Whereas the other denominations have uh, books of 80 and 81 included as their Old Testament books. Some of the ortho Orthodox churches have 80 or 81 books included as the Old Testament scriptures. The second part is the New Testament, which contains the 27 books. Um, that is the four canonical gospel followed up with the book of Acts of the Apostle and then 21 epistles or the letters and the book of Revelation. 
book of Revelation. So this forms the how the scriptures came together. So till now, do you all have any question? Or you would like to share add-on? OK. I think I've received a message. Let me check. Uh, no problem, Mr. Isaac. That's OK. OK, it happens. Just that we have to keep our mic muted so that you know uh, we all can hear well. OK, if it if at all you want to share something, Mr. Isaac, you can always use the chat so that you know we can read and interact with you through that way. Thank you. We appreciate for you to be part of this class. Thank you. Uh, OK. Yes, as I said, uh, uh, Sitkenu, like the canon decides the canon decides why certain books need to be included. Maybe some scriptures in that particular book are not agreeable or uh, that does not go well with the other scriptures in the Bible. So they would have decided to uh, not include in the Bible. But whereas, uh, yeah, that's how the council, the canon council decides which to be included and which not. So that's how they have formed the 66 books as a general uh, book in the Old Testament. And some of the other denominations have considered the other books. Anyone else? Anyone else would like to share? OK. So as we have done with our introduction of our um, you know, Old Testament survey and OK, so we can uh, prepare for the next class. And we will be studying on the Pentateuch, that is the book from the Genesis onwards in the next class, that is next week. Uh, so for now, if you have any questions, anything that you would like to share, you can go ahead. In the meanwhile, I'll just stop the recording.